Hi everyone. Today we'll connect a buzzer to our Pico and we'll make it beep in various patterns. So your Pico should already be inserted on the breadboard and if you have any LEDs or resistors connected to the Pico from previous circuits, you may remove those. Now there are two kinds of buzzers, active and passive buzzer. We will use an active buzzer today. Let's take a closer look at the two buzzers and see how to differentiate them. So the active buzzer is the one on the left and the passive buzzer is one on the right. Now, if you turn the active buzzer around, you'll see that the bottom is sealed. This black plastic at the bottom. While on the passive buzzer, the PCB is exposed at the bottom. And active buzzer also has polarity. Now, if you look at the bottom of the buzzer, if you look at the two pins on the buzzer, you will see that one pin is longer than the other. So longer pin is the positive pin and the shorter pin is the negative pin. Usually manufacturers also provide a marker on top. Usually there's a plus mark on top of the buzzer. So the one with the plus mark is the plus pin. So before we start inserting components, we need to make sure that the Pico is inserted at the very top of your breadboard. The first pin of your Pico should be on the very first row. The first pin of your Pico, that's GP0. This should be on row one of your breadboard. The rest of the instructions are based on this arrangement. So make sure that the first pin of your Pico is on the first row of your breadboard. All right, so this is the circuit we are going to build. Let me just clear my drawings. So we just need a buzzer and a jumper wire. The plus of the buzzer goes to a GPIO pin and the shorter pin of the buzzer goes to the ground of the Pico. Now let's see how to make these connections. So we are going to connect the ground of the Pico to the plus rail first. We'll need a jumper wire. You could use either of these jumper wires. You could use a long jumper wire with pins on both the ends, or you could use a jumper wire of this kind. We are going to use pin number 38 from Pico, and we'll connect it to the plus rail. So pin number 38 is on row number three on breadboard. So we'll use the point on row number three and column J. So one end of the jumper wire goes to row three, column J, and the other end of the jumper wire goes to plus rail. It can be on any of these points on the plus rail because all of them are connected. All right, now let's add the active buzzer. So the long leg, that's the plus. So the long pin of the buzzer goes to GP16. We are going to insert our buzzer on GP16. GP16 is on row number 20 on your breadboard. So let's use 20J. So the long pin of the buzzer is inserted on 20J 
and the short pin goes to the plus rail. So all the points on the plus rail are connected with a wire running underneath. So by inserting the short pin of a buzzer on plus rail, we have connected it to the jumper wire on top. So the short pin of a buzzer gets connected to the ground pin on row number three here. That's it. We are done with the circuit here. Now it's time to review your circuit. And then we'll write the code to make your buzzer beep. Thank you.